Thank you, John. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the main arena here. As you can see, the course is set for our championship jumping round. We are starting with the intermediate high, but first of all, please can I ask you to all give a warm round of applause and welcome from our judge today, Mr. Martin Cavill. As you can see, the course has been set by Martin. We are starting with the jumping round. He is just giving the course a once over. Ready to go with our first handler. This is Chloe Matron from Milton Keynes running replay, a five-year-old border collie. Zanis Go action replay. Replay is an absolute dream dog to own. This is her first time at Cruff, so this is a huge achievement for both of this pairing. She's just picking up five volts there on the weaves. Needs to complete the weaves correctly, which they have. It's all still to play for, though. There is another round later on, the agility round. So just running past the long jump there. Currently on 15 volts. As long as we don't get eliminated though, we have the agility round later. Taking the elements out on the long jump. So 20 volts. Chloe feels very lucky to have won her first championship certificate this year. Oh, replay just picking up the incorrect jump there from the tunnel. There you go. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So the ring party are just resetting the course, making sure that the long jump has been placed back into its correct position. Coming into the arena now is Jody Bruto running digits, a seven-year-old border collie. Kennel club name is Border Quest Malted Milk. So Jody says that Digit loves the agility and will no doubt bark her entire way around the course. So this could be quite a noisy <laughs> Digit very excited there, very vocal. Jody indicating through the tire into the tunnel. Nice blind there over the long jump, safely over that long jump. Very tight turn there over the U-move jump, over the iron jump. Okay, we are clear so far. Can we ignore that top jump? We can indeed. We are two from home on a clear round. Well done, Jody. Clear in 31.494. And goes into first place. <laughs> then we have some fans in the uh, crowd there. This is Rachel Gilmore. She will be running Tantrum, a five year old border collie. Lala Paws Tantrum and Tiaras. Rachel said that Tantrum is a five year old border collie and she's also part of Agility Team Scotland. She'll be heading out to the Netherlands in May to compete at the World's Agility Championships. So we have a fantastic partnership here out on the green carpet at the moment. Lovely and quick through those weaves. Through that tire, this is very quick. Over the Skoda jump. Through that tunnel. Into the opposite end of that tunnel. Over the wall. Over the finish line. Martin's just confirmed there with the scribe. <laughs> so Martin was just confirmed with the scribe to make sure we noted down the five volts there for the drop hole from Rachel. So that was a fast time at 30.235 with five volts. Up next is a regular on the green carpet here. This is Greg Derrett running Vice, a six year old border collie. Registered name is Nedlo Vice Girl Sproglet. Like I said, we do actually have a veteran out here on the carpet. He's no stranger at all to cross. This is his 33rd year running. 
33 years, so a very experienced handler here. This is Vice's second year at Cross, so a nice blind out of the tunnel there. Over the Skoda jump, we are clear so far, chasing the time, 31.494. Greg instructing Vice all the way around. Two from home now, can we do a clear round? Can indeed, look at that time ladies and gentlemen, 30.792. That takes Greg into first place. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the agility round later on, so the scores will be combined to take us through to the final this evening. We're not looking for any eliminations. So we're looking for nice clear rounds and hopefully no eliminations. Somebody sounds excited there on the line. This is Stephanie Vess running Fate, a seven-year-old Border Collie. Agility champion, dare to dream, it must be Fate. So Steph says that Fate is a dog in a million. She's super sensitive and sassy all at the same time. She loves agility and will have fun whatever happens. Both Lee Sparing have attended Gruffs many times before. Nicely, safely over that long jump. Steph being very vocal there, instructing Fate where to go, giving her the instructions she needs to make sure she jumps cleanly into the tunnel. Nice turn there. We are two from home. And we finish in a time of 33.007. That takes Steph into third place. On the line next, we have Marita Ogilvy running Kakeda, a three-year-old Border Collie. Agility champion, Darley Falls Cryptic Enigma. This is Kakeda's second time at Crufts. Last year, she actually won the Novice Cup. She's competed for Team GB at the European Open and the World Championships in 2023, achieving a bronze medal in the World Championships Agility Round. So a very, very exciting partnership here for three years old. So much more to do. This is very fast. Marita instructing where to go. Nicely around that new move jump and iron jump. Calling her in, into the tunnel. This is fast, ladies and gentlemen. We are two from home. Racing down that finish line in a time of 32.099. That takes Marita into third place. So the ring party just making sure that all the equipment is still in the same place. Martin just double checking everything is okay. And we're good to go with our next competitor. Again, another regular here on the green carpet. This is Nara Cuddy running Banana. We saw her the past few days running in the singles. So Banana is a four-year-old Border Collie run by Going Bananas. This is Banana's third first time. So she's three years old and her first time here at this particular event in the championship class. She won a championship certificate this year, qualifying her for this. She's a fizzy, fun-loving girl, and Nara is very lucky that she belongs to her. So again, all these handlers instructing all the dogs where to go. This is very good. Two from home. Clear and a time, or oh, how? 29.689. That takes Nara into first place. There is nothing in these times. There is literally hundreds of a second. 29.689 is in the lead, followed very closely by 30.792. So our next handler is Michelle Breton, running Mayer, a six-year-old Border Collie. Cherry Hog Pixie is her registered name. So Mayer is a six-year-old Border Collie. She thinks that she's been told to scream if you want to go faster. And it sounds like she's having a wonderful time out there. So we just knocked a pole, we picked up five volts. But it is okay, we are safely over the U-move jump now. 
Michelle sending her into the tunnel, pulling it in. Looking for a nice turn out of that tunnel. We are free from home, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Very nicely done there. Five faults in the time, 34.674, and taking her into seventh place. May I just check in with Mom? Are you sure you want me to do that last jump? Martin just indicating the faults there with a the raise of the hand. On the line next is Sarah Kitching, running seven. A four-year-old Border Collie. Registered name is Indy Storm Lucky Seven. Sarah says that Seven is the sweetest little dog. He is so kind with all of her children and a pleasure to have in the house. His favorite things are a squeaky ball and cuddles with his mum on the evening. He loves to please and has worked fab all year, moving them into the right direction to achieve all their goals. That was very quick out of that tunnel over the long jump. Nicely tight round the youth move jump over the irons jump. Sarah just swapping sides there to send Seven into the right end of the tunnel. We are two from home. Clear so far. <laughs> Lovely. Clear in 30 points. You want two, which takes Sarah into second place. Just finishing over the finish jump there on the big screen. Very nicely done. On the line next is Lindsay Spring, running Bam Bam, a six-year-old working sheepdog. Pretty paws done and dusted. Lindsay says that this is her second year competing at Cross. It was always a dream to, to be here, and Bam just loves the atmosphere. She just ran past that second jump, so Lindsay is resetting. So we have five faults at the moment, just a refusal, but it's absolute fun. As long as we complete the course in the correct manner, it is okay. So Lindsay did reset Bam to make sure that he took the jump correctly. A little bit tight on that jump, so he just knocks a pole. So we're on ten faults. Lindsay does have to say that actually Bam loves the atmosphere so much that she will probably be noisier than ever. Safely into that top tunnel. We are two from home. There we go, nice finish in 38.289 with 10 faults. It takes Lindsay into ninth place. He's clearly keen to get going. Just run past that second jump. So the jumps have been reset, everything has been put back in place. Martin is happy to continue. Coming into the arena now is Steve Seal, running Fleck a nine-year-old Border Collie, Dev and Jem Tri Fleck. Nine years old, ladies and gentlemen, this is such an achievement. It just goes to show that age is not a number. They are fit for function and enjoying every single moment of this. Steve says that Fleck loves her agility and running with him and the big occasions. He's hoping his luck changes this time so she can taste the big ring. Well, he's made it here. We are safely through the weaves, turning left on that top jump through the tire. Sending nicely around the back jump, swapping sides there over the long jump. Over the Skoda jump. Sending nicely over the U move jump. Through the tunnel. A refusal there, but Steve controlling that very well, making sure Fleck didn't take the wrong jump. So over the finish line with five faults in a time of 34.077. That places Steve into eighth place. Very nice recovery there then. Just telling Fleck to stop. Don't take the jump. Come back to me. Very well recovered. Coming into the arena now is Tony Smith. She's running Phoebe, a five-year-old border collie. Cherry Hog Bright Future. We did see Phoebe run the other day in the singles classes, so she's back here now in this championship class. Tony says that Phoebe is homebred, lives with her mother, auntie, uncle, and niece. So it is a real family affair. She's a beautiful border collie who's inherited the cherry hog trait of being clever, which makes up for her relatively small and dainty size. So, this is her third year at Cross. 
So just picking up a refusal there on the weaves, ladies and gentlemen. The dogs have to enter the weave fold, the first weave fold on their left shoulder. So as you can see there, she just skipped that first weave. So Tony did reset it, made sure that we finished the course completely. Just took down the last element of that long jump. So we're on 10 faults. Calling her in, sending her into the far end of the tunnel. Two from home, let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Finishing on 10 faults. And a time of 34.492. That takes Tony into 10th place. But again, we have the agility round later, so all of these scores will be combined to determine who can qualify for tonight's final. Going into the arena now is Michelle War running Otto, a five-year-old Border Collie. Manic Jack's summer dreams. Michelle says Otto is the sweetest boy. He's always wagging his tail and smiling. I think you can see there, he's raring to go. At home, he is Michelle's shadow. He loves to work and run. Loves his woodland walk. In the Forest of Dean. So we've just got to pause. We are on five faults. Safely over that long jump. Very quick little dog, this is. So efficient, tightly around that you move jump. Michelle instructing Otto into the tunnel, calling him in. It's the opposite end of the tunnel. Lovely turn out of there. Tunnel over the last jump. Lovely round. Five balls in a time of 30.091. I mean, that is a phenomenal time, ladies and gentlemen. On the line next is Lee Gibson. He's running Star, an eight-year-old Border Collie. Registered name is Eurostar. Wait. Lee says that Star is an agility champion and eight and a half years old. Lee has actually been competing in agility since he was 12. So again, he is no stranger to competitions like this. And he has attended cross many times before. As you can hear, Star is having an immense time out there. She is loving this. Lee is chasing her down that arena. This is very quick. Tightly over the U-move jump. Lee swapping sides there from the tunnel. Sending her into that far tunnel. Turning out there. We are two from home. Can we get a clear round? We can indeed. Wonderful time there. Oh, 30.32A, which takes Lee into third place. So tight at the top there. We're still chasing a clear round of 29.689, which is held by Nara Cody. And now we are looking at Jennifer Hart. She is running Giggle, an eight-year-old beardy collie. So ladies and gentlemen, it's not always the border collies here that can beat the championship classes. This is a beardy collie. Registered name is Git Doon Gives Us a Giggle. What a great name. Absolutely love that. Safely into the weaves. So Giggle is a homebred, working bearded collie. She's very clever, cheeky, bossy, and incredibly cute. So very tight on that jump. So it just took the pole down. So we're on five poles at the moment. Jennifer says that she always gives it her all and she can never ask any more. She's her little shadow and has made her dreams come true and a dog of a lifetime. What a wonderful looking dog. Look at that finish, ladies and gentlemen. Five faults in a time of 32.366, which takes Jennifer into 10th place. On the line next is Georgina Baker. She's running extra, a five-year-old Border Collie. Registered name, Pam Dabby Dozy, extra of dust. Georgina says that extra is a happy, cuddly, loving boy. He's owned by her mum, Sue Baker. So Georgina is exceptionally grateful that Sue allows her to run him. 
So we are safely through those weaves. Can we take the jump? We can. We have cleared that backside of the jump. Over the long jump now. Lovely tight turn over the U move jump. Georgina, no stranger to cut. She has competed here previous times. So we are three from home, clear so far. Safely over that final jump in a time of 31.762, which takes her into sixth place. I think we have a fan club here in the crowd. This next handler is Stephen Richardson. He is running Gamble, a six-year-old border collie. Agility champion, Moel Gamble, demonic risk. Again, a lovely partnership to watch here. Stephen has achieved many accolades with Gamble. He's competed internationally with her. He's also weave, weave, weave. no stranger to cross here. Competed many times with various different heights of dogs as well. So clear so far. Can we get round the back of that jump? Clear, we can. Stephen swapping sides there over the long jump. Just taken a different line there on the U-move jump, but it is absolutely fine. Same here in the tunnel, we're three from home. Let's give him a cheer, ladies and gentlemen. Very nicely done. Clear round and 31.612. That takes Stephen into sixth place. Into the arena now, we have Amanda Hampson. She is running fun. A seven-year-old Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. So another different breed here in the main arena. Amanda says fun is her third toller, an incredibly special dog to own and compete with. Fun is a typical toller, loves food, and will scream when excited. There you go, barking all the way into those weaves, safely into the weaves, round that top jump. Amanda says it, herself and Fun are very excited about competing in the championship class here. Safely around the U-move jump, over the irons jump, into the tunnel. Amanda instructing Fun where to go. We are three from home, clear so far. Let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Clear round at 32.792 and taking Amanda into ninth place. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a special partnership now coming into the ring. This is Natasha Wise running Pebbles. Pebbles is 11 years old. 11 years old and do you know a lot, ladies and gentlemen, she actually retires today. So a very special, special day for Natasha and Pebbles. They are so proud to be ending their decorated agility career at the biggest dog show in the world that is Crufts. And all Natasha says is thank you Pebbles. It has been quite simply the best of times. Go. So here we go. The little red firework that is Pebbles. Just showing that age is no obstacle. Keep her fit and healthy. Also keeping Tasha on her toes, nicely around the back of that jump. Tasha blind crossing there, out of there, over the Skoda jump. Pebbles running very smoothly, very efficient here, into the tunnel. Tasha calling Pebbles. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a huge round of applause. Lovely clear round in 32.041 and finishing in eighth place. We will, of course, see them later on in the agility rounds. But how wonderful is that to see? Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, if the dogs are fit for purpose, they can achieve anything. So in the arena now, we have Nikki Paris. This is Mouse, a nine-year-old border collie. Oh. Clearly looking raring to go. <laughs> She's like, Mom, it's too early. I want to go back to sleep. Oh, okay. No, there's jumps. Okay. Okay. I know what I'm doing now. 
So this is the mighty, mighty mouse. Nicky got mouse when he was 18 months old as a rescue dog. He's kind, funny. Well, I think we saw he was funny and loyal. And most of all, he is her best friend. So we're on five volts at the moment. But again, like I say, it is all to play for. These scores will be combined with the agility round later on this afternoon. So I do hope you come back and watch that. That will be very exciting. Turning nicely over the U-move jump. Nikki sending Mouse into the tunnel, calling him in over the top jump. Into the tunnel. We are free from home. Let's cheer them on, ladies and gentlemen. And over the finish line in a time of 38.688 with five faults, which takes them into 17th place. I think Emma's brought some of her uh, fans with her. Lovely to hear you cheering everybody on. So this is Emma Piri running Zuri, a five-year-old border collie. Empire all the rage. Zuri lives life according to her rules and knows her humans are just here to serve. In her world, she is the main character. She loves to swim. Zuri won the Intermediate Scottish Agility Dog of the Year final in 2023. So a lovely accolade for them. So they've just taken five holes there by knocking that pole. But again, Emma is going to continue pushing the dog all the way around the course here. Sending over the long jump. Bit of a wide turn there, but it was okay. Emma just calling Zuri back, making sure we take the correct course. Into the top. Zuri sounding quite excited there. Let's give them a big cheer. Over the finish line is by Foss in the time of 33.466. We'll take them into 15th place. So this is our last dog of this intermediate height. So after this dog, the jumps will be raised to our large height dogs. But now we welcome in Kaylee Hewitt, running Cosmo, a five-year-old Border Collie. Agility champion, Manic Jack's summer like a sauna. She says that Cosmo is a goofy, happy boy that adores agility. He's five years old and was named after Cosmo Kramer, a character in the TV series Seinfeld. And he's just like his character. He loves swimming. He loves playing with his beagle brothers. Very quickly through those weaves there. Very quiet. Just taking the pole down. So we're coming on five volts at the moment, but we are powering through this course. Nice turn there, over the U-move jump, into the tunnel. Yeah. Kaylee just calling Cosmo in on the top jump, through that bottom tunnel. We are two from home in a time of 30.094 and into 13th place. So our ring party are just going to adjust the jumps and move them up to the top height and ready for our large dogs. So all of our dogs here, ladies and gentlemen, to be able to compete, they have to get measured by the Kennel Club. That then determines which jump height that they actually compete in. So you've just seen our intermediate height dogs. We are now moving on to our large height dogs. So our ring party being very efficient there, changing the jumps around. Martin's just checking to make sure that everything is correct. Just reattaching some of the sandbags onto the tunnel. Making sure that everything is good. So, have a thumbs up from Martin. So, we are ready with our first dog on the line. This is Shannon Springford, running Fernie No Name, a seven year old Border Collie. Registered name is Castamaya. Love is gifted at Shan's Dream. So, Fern just being a little bit eager to get going there. So, we have five faults. Picking up a refusal there onto the wheels. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the dog have to enter that first weep hole with its left hand shoulder. So, Fern was just making sure that Shannon, making sure that Fern completed those correctly for her. Fern being very noisy, very vocal, very excited about being on the green carpet there. So we are on 10 faults at the moment. 
two from home. Let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Finishing with 10 parts, we time of 38.242. Coming into the arena now is Mike Bendel. He is running Falcon, a five-year-old working sheepdog. Agility champion, lucky, lucky blue Falcon. This is Falcon's second time at Crufts and he is a workaholic. He would work all day if you would let him. He loves his agility and you will be able to tell by the noise. He's had a great career so far. He won the international at Crufts in 2023. He won a bronze medal at WAA. And he won his, won his third champ ticket in January, making him his first agility champion. The lack of hair, ladies and gentlemen, is actually due to the colour dilute alopecia. It doesn't affect his health at all. He just doesn't have much hair. But as you can hear, it doesn't affect his ability either. He is loving every second of this. Let's give him a cheer, ladies and gentlemen. He's two from home. Clear so far. Set the time at 30.940. So that takes Mike and Falcon into first place. So all of the remaining handlers will now be looking to chase that time down set by Mike. I actually think the Falcon goes faster the louder he screams. On the line next is Faye Nemeth running Jess, an 11-year-old Border Collie. Folly Fleet Starlet. Jess is known as a wonder dog due to her fabulous nature. She will switch from running in champ to running in juniors and really looking after her handler. She has achieved so much and is a dream at home and has recently started a new career as a therapy dog. So very multi-talented there. So we are nicely through those weeds. Turning right on that top jump. Pushing round on the jump into the tunnel. Faye switching sides there, sending Jess over the long jump. Over the Skoda jump, round the back of the U move jump. Very quietly round. Nicely into the top end of the tunnel. Faye calling Jess, we are two from home. Clearing a time of 40.804. Currently goes into second place. Coming into the arena now is Helen Anderson Possel running Vespa, a six year old Belgian shepherd dog, a Malinois. Again, lovely to see a different type of breed here in the main arena. Helen says that Vespa is great fun to run alongside, but it can be like controlling a runaway train. So this could be quite interesting to watch. Safely into those weeds. Squeaking her way through those weeds. Helen does say that she usually starts squeaking with excitement. I think we can hear that. So we've just had a run past the face of the jump. So Helen making sure that Vespa goes back and completes that jump correctly in order to avoid the elimination. So we are on five volts at the moment. Vespa really squeaking her way around this course. Through that tunnel. We are two from home. Finishing with five volts and a time of 35. Point zero five three and into third place. But again, this is all to play for. We do have the agility round later where the scores will be combined. On the line next is Amy Bennett running tame, an eight year old border collie. Registered name is Mira May Firestorm. So, Tame is Amy's Border Collie. Running here at the, in the champ class is a dream for Amy and Tame. <laughs> Very noisy there. Just looking for where the weaves are, but safely picking them up. Very quickly through them. Round the back of the top jump. Tame just picking up an off-course jump there. So as you can see, Martin has indicated 
the elimination. <laughs> Amy's going to continue anyway, running around the course. So if they do pick up an elimination, they will get to run the agility round later, but unfortunately it will mean that they won't be eligible for the final tonight. But a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely dog to watch there. I'm sure they will be back at Crufts in the near future.